Electrolysis of Aluminium Oxide by kscience.com The electrolysis of aluminium oxide uses electricity to break down the compound into aluminium as it removes the oxygen. Here I'm drawing the positive electrode, which is known as the anode. It is made of graphite. And here I'm drawing the negative electrode, the cathode, which of course is also made of graphite. This represents one cell, and it will contain the molten aluminium oxide, which will be electrolyzed inside. So electrolysis uses electricity to break down the ionic compound aluminium oxide, which has the chemical formula Al2O3. Where you see the positive signs, this is the positive graphite electrode, known as the anode. And where you see the negative signs, this is the negative graphite electrode, known as the cathode. Now, as we already know, electrolysis does not work when the ionic compound is a solid, as the ions are not free to move. In the electrolysis of aluminium oxide, it is molten. We melt it to very high temperatures. The chemical formula of molten aluminium oxide is written as Al2O3, alpha liquid. Due to the very strong ionic bonds between the ions, the melting point of aluminium oxide is very high. It is 2050 degrees Celsius. This is too high to carry out for any company, as they do not make enough money due to the amount of heat and electricity needed to melt the ionic compound. To lower the melting point, they add cryolite, and this lowers the melting point to 850 degrees Celsius. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Aluminium oxide, or Al2O3, contains two Al3 plus ions and three O2 minus ions. The Al3 plus ions are the cations and the O2 minus ions are the anions. Now, before we continue, it must be noted that a lot of electricity is needed in the electrolysis of aluminium oxide. You wouldn't believe it but the same amount of electricity is used in a small town compared to a factory which carries out the electrolysis of aluminium oxide. Inside the cell is the electrolyte. The electrolyte is the ionic compound being broken down by electricity. The ions are free to move as the electrolyte in this case is molten, a very hot liquid. What happens in the process of electrolysis is, as the electrons are flowing through the negative electrode, the cathode, the ions are free to move in the electrolyte where they are attracted to the different electrodes. The Al3 plus cations are attracted to the cathode and the O2 minus anions are attracted to the anode. Let's now focus on what happens at the electrodes in terms of how the ions gain and lose electrons. At the cathode, the Al3 plus ion gains free electrons. So we write Al3 plus plus free electrons. And this forms an aluminium atom. So then we write Al to show how Al3 plus has gained free electrons to become an aluminium atom. We say it has been reduced as the aluminium cation has gained electrons. Reduction is the gain of electrons. So what happens to the aluminium cation is the Al3 plus cation gains free electrons to become an aluminium atom. The aluminium then flows out of the bottom. It appears as a dark grey black sludge. It is molten aluminium which is tapped or we say siphoned off from the cell. 
Let's now focus on what happens at the anode. Each oxide anion has two electrons more than they should, so they both have a charge of two minus. The oxide anion loses two electrons to form an oxygen atom. So we write this on the half equation as O2 minus forms an oxygen atom plus electrons. The half equation is not yet finished. This oxide anion also loses two electrons to become an oxygen atom. These two oxygen atoms are not stable by themselves as they do not have a full outer shell of electrons. So they form an oxygen molecule. So on the half equation, we write a small two to the right of the oxygen atom to show it is an oxygen molecule. Now this equation is not balanced. There are two oxygen atoms on the right, so we need to put a big two in front of the oxide anion on the left. And now the charge isn't balanced either. The charge on the left is four minus, and because four electrons were lost between two oxide anions, we put a big four in front of the electron on the right. This half equation is now balanced. These electrons lost at the cathode now flow back towards the anode for the whole cycle to continue again. Because the oxide anions lost electrons, we say they have been oxidized as they have lost electrons. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The anodes are hot due to being heated to very high temperatures of 850 degrees Celsius. This is not a good thing, as the hot carbon reacts with the oxygen formed at the anode. Now, mainly oxygen gas is formed at the anode. However, some of the oxygen gas reacts with the carbon, forming carbon dioxide. And we can write this as a word equation where carbon plus oxygen forms carbon dioxide. We can write this as a balanced equation where C, S for solid, reacts with O2, G for gas, forming CO2, G for gas. Over time, the positive anode decreases in mass as it gradually burns away, so it must be replaced regularly. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.